So Insider Gaming reported a whole bunch of new marathon details. Bungie's new marathon game, which is an extraction shooter. I'm very excited about it. And they got a whole, it's, I, would, I would classify this as a leak. Okay, so here's what they got. I'm gonna read the article straight from Insider Gaming. So uh, there is an oxygen feature in the game and they see that this is gonna be controversial. So all players will have a limited oxygen supply that acts as, a, as essentially a match countdown timer because you won't be able, there's persistent servers that they announced, right? But you won't be able to just stay out in the world forever, which is something that I kind of thought was cool, but the oxygen kind of prevents that. So once you lose all your oxygen, you begin to lose health and you have to extract before you run out of oxygen or all your health, obviously. Uh, but you can find O2 canisters within the world. So you can find extensions or apparently you can buy them from like a vendor before you go in. So you're you're going to equip them essentially. And that will, uh, you know, like I want to make a long run this time. So I'm going to buy four O2 tanks or something like that. And we don't know how expensive they be, will be. We don't know anything about the economy, but that you can prepare in that matter so that's going to prevent you from being out in the world forever and just like decimating players for like two hours straight which i kind of i understand why they're doing it but the whole part about persistent servers that excited me was a thought of that like doing like two hour runs you know where you kill like 50 people or whatever so i'm not sure how i feel about that i'd love to hear your guys thoughts on that i'm excited for marathon in general um, and all this could change. The game's actively in development. This is a leak from Insider Gaming, but that's what they got so far. And there's plenty more here. Um, the oxygen system also ties into the, into the injury system of Marathon. It says, with certain injuries causing the player to suffer different effects. For example, being shot in the waste area may cause damage to your oxygen supply, which will cause it to complete more rapidly. Another example was being concussed, which could cause players' screen to blur periodically. I'm not one of the things that kept me away from Escape from Tarkov, to be honest with you, was the injury system. I'm not a fan of, oh, I got a broken leg or a sprained ankle, so now I walk really slow. I hope this doesn't slow the game down too much. Like, one of the things I love about Dead Drop is that it's a super fast paced game and you can play it very athletically and do high risk plays. And, and I think extraction shooters as they grow and evolve they don't need to stick to this hardcore slow paced thing and i hope that's not really what marathon does but we'll see especially since it's pvp focused uh and then it says if your oxygen supply does become a huge hindrance marathon's ability and perk system can solve that we're all familiar with perks and abilities so i won't bore you but yes perks include the likes of faster revives less o2 usage faster movement in the water so uh, you will have abilities and loadouts in Marathon, which is interesting. Uh, night Vision, that's also interesting. Uh, there's going to be progression. Most games have progression these days. The more perks you unlock through progression. Uh, here we go. Uh, Bungie is aiming for Marathon to be the ultimate live service. That's there. That's in quotes. To achieve this, the team is aiming to have minimal loading times. I love that. I think that one of the big things that next gen games need to do, they can only wow us with better graphics, right? For, for so long. I mean, graphics will always keep improving, but there comes a point where you get diminishing returns uh, and it takes so much time and resources to build those better graphics. Instead of immersing players with better lighting, uh, you know, shadows, ray tracing, I'm not saying don't do those things, but immerse players in the game world. So like get rid of loading times, for example, or make them like seamless. I, I love that. I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, one source says that the team is aiming for single digit load times from readying up to playing on the server. Love that. Uh, it is said that Marathon's maps will have plenty of secrets for players to explore. Presumably, new secrets will come to the maps throughout the game seasons, meaning the maps will evolve, probably get new areas, new hidden secrets as seasons go on, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the core gameplay loop of Marathon is as follows. Choose your missions. So you get to choose your own missions before you go out, much like something like the cycle where you get to go to whichever faction or vendor you want, speak with them, get the contract, and then go in. I imagine that's how it's going to work. 
buy or choose your loadout perks abilities and gear drop into a server hunt and loot complete missions explore and find secrets obviously extract spend experience on it says updates i think they mean upgrades repeat uh i also heard another element of this but i'm not seeing it here uh, but i'll mention that later the game features three different types of items loot implants and perks uh in the current game there it is permadeath is a feature but it's understood that players will only lose their loot weapons artifacts currency bliss implants are sometimes lost and perks are never lost so essentially you're going to be upgrading your character permanently so there's some permanent progression but you will be able to lose a lot of things such as your loot which is a core part of the extraction shooter experience obviously um and it says implants are sometimes lost perks are never lost you unlock those forever um so you will be able to like almost role playing game style permanently upgrade your character on a on a path but you'll lose certain things when you die uh hunt showdown has permadeath in it but it doesn't sound like this is as hardcore as that though hunt showdown i know has certain perma progressions and uh you know there, there's insurance slots and in certain extraction shooters like the faction uh like the cycle i should say like you can pick one item that you can't lose stuff like that um so it sounds like bungie's playing around with different ideas uh it's understood that bungie's currently developing three different maps for arathon but if all three released on launch remains to be seen yeah, I'm sure at least one of those will be held for season one or season two or whatever. It's Bungie. They're going to have a strong content pipeline. So that's what we got, guys. That's the new marathon info from Insider Gaming. Uh, let me know what you think about it. I'm going to post this video on YouTube later. And if you're watching it on YouTube, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'm very excited for, for marathon in general. I think it will be, uh, like I said, one of the three extraction shooters that remain standing uh, once once everybody has made one. I think it's gonna be Dead Drop, Marathon, and, and Tarkov. Some games will still have a community. Again, Hunt Showdown will always have a community, I think, uh, and others, but those are gonna be the big three, I think. Dead Drop, Marathon, Tarkov. We just launched a Kickstarter for Midnight, our live action Dead Drop series that is set in and inspired by the Dead Drop universe. The response from the 12 AM community has been incredible. We have a goal of raising $2,500 to help support the artists working on Midnight in the acting, cinematography, music, and promotional art front. All the funds raised by our Kickstarter will go directly towards the production of Midnight. There's no money being made here. It's all just going back into the series. There are two episodes out now, and there's a third coming very, very, very soon. Keep your eyes on this. Check out our Kickstarter. Check out the various rewards for our backers. And thank you once again to everybody who's taking the time to watch our series and support it. Your views, your comments, your likes, your shares, your retweets all make a huge difference, guys. Thanks for your time. Midnight Mare out.